Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50s advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, adva and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Employees with Missing Information and try to learn from it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. So, this is the 30th video of the series called Employees with Missing Information, and if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in so adobe a number of times okay let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called employees with two different columns employee id and name employee id is the column with unique values for this table and each row of this table indicates the name of the employee whose id is employee id we are also given a second table called salaries with again two different columns employee id and salary employee id is the column with unique values for this table each row of this table indicates the salary of the employee whose id is employee id okay we are asked to write a solution to report the ids of all employees with missing information the information of an employee is missing if the employee's name is missing or the employee's salary is missing return the result table ordered by employee id in ascending order okay let's go to the example and see what do we need in our output so here we have few records for employees table as well as the salaries table and we need to find out the employee ids whose either the employee name is missing or the salary is missing so for example employee id 2 there is a name but there is no salary so 2 should be in our output 4 has a name as well as a salary 5 has a name as well as salary now employee id 1 has a salary but does not have a name so employee id 1 and 2 should be in our output and that is what we need to do at first glance it might look complicated but this question satisfied the definition of one of the joints that we have learned about in our sql 50 series to the t that you have to reach out to another table to see that there is information related to a particular employee in the salaries table if not you keep that employee id and then from the other side as well so from the salaries table you have to reach out to the employee table and try to see whether the person has a name or not so you say what does this define this defines the full outer join since in mysql you cannot do a full outer join just by using the keyword full outer join so you can emulate it using first doing a left join then using a right join for now let's forget about right join let's see okay if i need to find out from this employees table what all employees do not have salaries so how will you do that so i can go ahead and do from this table called employees aliased as e if i go ahead and do left join the salaries table aliased as s and join on e dot employee id is equal to s dot employee id okay and then let me go ahead and return all columns okay let me now go ahead and run this and let's see which all employees in the employees table do not have a salary associated with them okay let me just drag it above and let's see what do we have in our output so here uh, just as we discussed right employee id 2 has a name but does not have any salary associated with the person right so to get this person what i can do is where both the columns coming from the salary table any one of them should be null that means that the person does not have a salary so if i go ahead and write because in this i am only concerned about employees who does not have a salary s dot employee id is null or salary is none whatever so let me just do s dot salary is null okay now if i go ahead and run this it will only keep the first row so this is the person who has a name but does not have a salary okay now if i need to do the same thing but if for all the employees who have a salary i need to find out whether they have the name or not so what i can do is let me just copy this exact same thing right let me just remove the semicolon exact same thing however what i need to do is in this case either you can change this to right join what is a right join so if i just do right join right if i just here replace left with right this thing this entire thing is 
equivalent to writing this let me just copy this again and paste i'm just you know trying to demonstrate so this right join this this part is actually equal to this thing what is basically happening is from salaries i now now want to reach out to employees table to get whether employee id and name is null or not so you see that is what so either you can use this or you can use this it does not matter but since we are trying to do a full outer join in that the definition is have a left join as well as a right join so i will go ahead with the upper part right but just wanted to show you that whether like you know how can you have the alternative approach as well so right join this right so from this employees right join so basically from salaries try to reach out to the employees table and in this particular case what will be the null part the employee id or the name coming from the employees table so where e dot name is null e dot name is null or let me go ahead and let me so this is what we just achieved right let me just remove this part let me run this now let's see what do we have in our output okay let me just drag it above so here if you can see this is a person employee id one who has a salary who has a salary but has no name so you see this is why i took e dot name is in is null okay let me just put it back here and obviously if i perform a union of these two so this is going to return me what a person who has a name but does not have a salary and a person who has a salary but does not have a name okay now if i go ahead and look at my output so this is one so employee id 2 has a name but does not have a salary employee id 1 who has a salary but does not have a name now in our output we need to return the employee ids so you see now here you might be thinking which column should i return should i return employee id from the employee because these two columns are coming from employee and these two columns are coming from the salary table so employee id from this or employee id from this but if you if you think about returning employee id from this employee id column so here you can get two but here you will be having null but in employee id coming from the salaries here you will be having null but here you can get the one so can you think about it like what's the problem that we are facing and how can you resolve this yes we discussed about that there is a function called coalesce right so it it what does it return it returns the first non null value so if you coalesce employee id and employee id both these columns the first non null value is two so it will return two in this case and here it is a null so the first non null value would be one so you see now it will return the employee ids that we want so if i go ahead and do this that okay return coalesce of employee id coming from e dot employee id and s dot employee id and let me go ahead and alias this as employee id right because that is what we need in our output if i go ahead employee id okay so now you just need to make sure that before running the here you are returning only one column and here you have four different columns union won't work for union to work you have to return same number of columns having same data type remember so here what you need to do is copy this entire thing paste it entire thing here and then what you can do is simply go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay let me just drag it above so here what we have is employee id 2 and 1 and expected is 1 and 2 basically we saw that we need to sort this also by employee id in ascending order so at the end what we can do is we can simply go ahead and write order by employee id okay then you might be thinking won't execute first and then there is a union so how is this order by working so actually you if you think about it we have discussed the order of operations order always works after select right so what will happen is from this table it will perform a join and then there is a filtering and then there is a select so this will work then again from this this where select this entire thing then there is going to be a union and then after the union is performed order by the employee id so you see that is how it is going to run and that is how it is able to sort this so if i go ahead and run this now let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it 
not a very difficult question but we have to just employ our understanding of full outer joint and since we cannot do full outer joints directly what we did was we basically broke that into two halves firstly we performed a left joint so that we can get employees who do not have salaries and then we performed a right joint to see employees who have salaries but do not have a name union the two things together and then we return the employee id but by using a coilist to return the first non-null employee id so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video